Hello. This thing is so uh, instantaneous. I don't ever know if it starts recording or not. So today I'm going to be going over chapter 15. That's right. The Hunger Games. Now this chapter I'm really liking and I actually don't even want to read more simply because of this chapter. And a quick recap basically Katniss uh, comes out of her, you know, her, her hallucinations. Uh, her and Rue team up. They talk about stuff, and then they come up with a plan. That's basically what happened. But let me just say that Katniss and Rue's relationship is so cute. I, I when I first read this, I was just so like, "Oh my god, they're cuddling!" I'm sorry. I'm a, I'm a little I'm a sucker for shit like that. I can't help it. All right. Um, it's not it's not. Don't take it a weird way. I just like the whole how she's taking care of Rue and, you know, it's just cool. Okay, I like it. I don't know why. You can call me weird if you want. Um, so, let's get into this and analyze some interesting details. Um, so, um, I think it's funny when she waked up from her little haze of halluc hallucinations, she starts thinking in her head, for some reason, Gail and Peter do not coexist well together <laughs> in her mind. Which I, I wonder why, Katniss. It's because she secretly has a boner from PETA. Okay, when he stood up there with his sparkling dew and saved her with, you know, like a knight in shining armor that he is, she was just awed, just like Bella was. And that's what happened. It's a sucker. You know, guys, if you want to get a girl, you just got to cover yourself in dew, try and get yourself to sparkle, and then just say really obvious things, and then the girl will just be like, oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm sorry. Um So and then we learned that actually when I was talking about how this seemed kind of gruesome, uh the last chapter it appears that it may actually have been hallucination. I, I don't know how I missed that. Um so that could be true because it doesn't make sense uh that there's no green goo or whatever on the arrows um if her body exploded with green goo. You know, you'd think there'd be some kind of trace of it. So that's interesting. Um then I wonder how they're going to show that in the movie. They probably will make it show that it is hallucination. They'll probably show the game makers and our, the audience watching. And they'll be like, what? What is she doing? You know, something like that. But either way, she still had to crack open fingers. So that's still pretty gross. Um, so then we learn that she's actually anticipating to kill Kato. She actually wants to kill him. Now she's got a bow and arrow. Oh, boy. I feel sorry for him, honestly. Um, you know, now that Katniss has the bow and arrow, there's pretty much nothing to worry about. The thing is, though, I'm going to get into later about Rue joining the team. I think Katniss is better off alone. Uh, and if she had Gale, maybe. But I think that if she has anyone else on her team, it's more like a liability. Because not only does she have to worry about herself, she has to worry about for Rue. You know, someone, she, I doubt someone could sneak up on Katniss, maybe. Uh, maybe Rue Ru can, obviously, but, you know, she would have to worry about Ka uh, Rue's safety as well. So that might actually kind of be a bother th bothersome thing for her. Um, so basically, uh, Katniss finds out that Rue's stalking her. And, uh, you know, she doesn't hesitate to be like, Rue, come over here, whatever. And, you know, they start talking, and they're, and then, so, it's so cute how she's, like, all shy, and she's like, oh, hi, uh, can I have some of your dead turkey? And it was just cute. I actually, um, oh, you know, I have this picture of, uh, someone drew this scene, and I think it's really cool looking. I'll try and figure out a way to put it in the video somehow, so I'll leave that for then. Um... And then it's funny that she actually, we confirmed that Rue was jumping around like a ninja, which is really cool. I'm sorry I keep looking up there. Okay, it's really hard for me to not look up at the TV and, not, and look into this little camera. Uh, but it's funny, then, you know, Rue starts giggling and uh, Katniss starts uh, laughing and everything. And they're, like, helping each other out and, like, you know, get, treating each other with medicine. It's just so cute. I'm sorry. I love it. Um, I really do like uh, Rue, the character. She seems like a, a strong fighter and uh, respecting. And then we learn that her past is a lot more darker than I would say Katniss's. Now, when I say darker, I mean, you kind of have to have your own view of what would be worse. So let me get into it first. Um, 
Uh, and the bird was called a grooseling. I don't think it's important, but I just threw it in there. Um, you know, District 11 remembers al- uh, agriculture. So you would think, well, if you have to work out in the fields where you're with crops and, you know, there's, you know, vegetables right in front of you, you'd think you would be able to eat them. But apparently you get whipped if you try and eat. Uh, and they make everyone else watch. Uh, and it's very common, but it's very uncommon in twelve um, District 12. Uh, but the thing is, though, the peacemakers, or wait, peacekeepers, they actually are okay with uh, Katniss and Gale hunting, so it doesn't matter, you know, there's hardly any whippings, and because the peacekeepers get the, you know, they're like, hey, you can hunt as long as you give us food. But for irrigation, you know, they really have nothing to offer. You know, they can't, like, do anything, you know, the food's right there. So it kind of sucks now that you think about it. Katniss really does have it better off than most people in District 12 and a lot better off than people in any other, di- any other district that we know so far. Uh, you know, besides the rich ones, obviously. Um, <laughs> so that kind of sucks. And I wonder if it would be worse. I think District 12 would be a lot more fun if I was there. Only if I could hunt. I don't really want to hunt. But it, the whole idea that you can basically go out in the woods, get some food... You know, that kind of stuff. It's kind of cool. I like that. You know, I think that it, it seems more like you're living the, hu- the real human life. Um, uh, so, um, it's funny that uh, she learns it's even worse because in school, they don't even make her go to school. Uh, they make uh, them go out and to harvest uh, a lot quick, you know, a lot quicker. Now, I know I I was questioning whether or not I should bring this up and I don't know if it's a touchy subject. Ah, I I I'm sorry. But whenever I see this, I'm thinking, you know, Rue and Thresh, the people from District uh eleven, the kids are, they're they're uh, you know, they're dark. And I was wondering, you know, does that mean that most from District Eleven are, you know, a certain color? Because that is that how it is? You know, and if that's the case, I wonder if Suzanne Collins purposely made it so the black district has to do, you know, go, goes out in the fields. And, uh, you know, during school time, they have to go out in the fields, you know, out, you know, to work hard. I mean, that's like exactly what happens in, in, in today history uh, and today yeah, in, in history for you know black people, which is I don't know if you would consider that a racist of Suzanne Collins or she because it, it just seems to me like it's not necessary. It's like, oh, well, black people in our history did that. So I'm going to make them in this fictional book do the same thing. I don't know. I, you know, I looked at that and I was like, I don't know if it's racist. You know, I don't I wasn't offended, obviously, but. You know, I just wondered if that was necessary. That's it just kind of stereotypical in the sense that it's like, okay, well, you know, just because they're black doesn't mean they have to work in the fields. So I don't know. You know, I, I'm not obviously to agree with that crap. That's stupid. But um Uh so it's funny, I hear something this is really interesting. Uh so Katniss and Rue are talking about the districts and everything, and keep in mind that the Capitol's like, no, you guys can't learn about this shit. So they actually probably blocked out their conversation, which sucks. And I wanted to see what the Capitol's people's reaction is to that. Because, you know, the districts, the only thing they really know is that, okay, well, District 12 is coal and this and that. And they don't really know anything else about the rules and stuff. So it'd be kind of interesting to see that in the movie, where it cuts off at. <laughs> you know, that'd be pretty funny. I want to see people's reaction, too. Uh, that's pretty cool. And, and, and I wonder how the Capitol people felt when Katniss and Rue were talking about this shit. Like, I wonder if they feel guilty at all. Like, I, I mean, seriously, it's like, oh, yeah, okay, so we torture people just so we can... We, we, they, they killed a retarded kid. They killed a mentally challenged kid for... It was like... Oh, hold on. It was something like... um. Here, I'm going to tell you right now. Uh... Oh yeah, the glasses. He took he took some glasses and played with them, and he got killed. Like, what the heck? You know, to me that's just like, why are you doing that? You know, and then I wonder how capital people would feel about that. They did block out the conversation, I think, so they they wouldn't know. But I really wouldn't want to know how they feel. I wonder if the capital actually doesn't want the people of the capital, like the capital people in charge, don't want the citizens of the capital to really know that kind of stuff. Like it's like a vague understanding. Like if you think back, obviously you weren't alive. Maybe if you were, that's that sucks. But during the Holocaust, um, you know, 
the the German citizens, they kind of knew what was going on. You know, they saw the trains going down there. Now, this is just what I know from history class. You know, I don't, you know, if you want to argue with me, I, I can't tell you, a, you know, knowledge, you know, informed opinion or, you know, statement. But, you know, during the uh, Holocaust, the German citizens, they, they kind of knew what was going on, but they never really saw it. I mean, you, you, I'm sure most people have seen videos of the Holocaust where they made it seem like it was just a, it was just a summer resort. You just take your things and you'll be fine. And they made it sound like all oh, okay. And they even did that to the citizens. So I wonder if Suzanne Collins is actually trying to make that reference. And it would be cool to see that done in a movie. Like it kind of like sugarcoats, you know, what's really going on in the Capitol. Because that's probably why the Capitol people would rebel if they really saw the injustices that are going on in the other districts. It's kind of funny how she keeps relating to the real world. The, the irrigation thing, I don't know if that's in purpose, uh, you know, with the black people. And then, you know, the, the Holocaust thing. And then, of course, you know, the whole idea of, you know, 24 tributes comes from the the Minotaur. I mean, that old Greek stuff, you know. So, I don't really... I know about it, but I forget. Um, so, anyway. So, here's the part where it, I explained the title of my video. Um, so, Katniss and Rue are kind of cute and everything until they start lezzing out. Okay. You don't think they're lezzing out? I'm going to prove to you. All right. Um... So, this is what Katniss says. You can share my sleeping bag if you want. Okay, you know, cuddle. All right. Um, you know, we'll both use the fit. And then this is this is this is Rue's reaction to this. Are you ready? Uh, her face lights up. Weird, a little bit. Okay, I can tell this is more than she hoped for. More than she hoped for. Hmm. Hoped for. Okay, listen. If you don't get it. Um, oh, I just want to go talk to Katniss, and I just want to maybe just cuddle a little bit. I, just, I mean, that's just what I'm hoping for, but maybe I, we can just get close. Like, I don't, I, I just think it's hilarious. It's, I mean, at first you could say, oh, you know, it's more than she hoped for. She actually gets a warm place to stay, but her light, her face lights up. So that means that she's blushing. Oh, that's just so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. They're less than now. This is, this is officially a rated R book. <laughs> I don't know. If it, what is it, what, I want to know what you guys think about something like that. Like, am I going off on a tangent about stupid shit, or is this actually informative? Um, and then, you know, uh, whatever her face is, uh, Cadness, you know, tries to explain to Rue that, oh, yeah, PETA, he's just a, he's just a man horror. He's just, like, annoying. I mean, he does sparkle, but, you know. And then Rue's all like, oh, well, you know, that didn't look that way to me. See, I'm liking Rue. Even Rue. I mean, oh, yeah, you know, Rue doesn't know the whole story. Well, you know, here's the thing. Um, Katniss really doesn't either. So, you know, shove that up your ass. Uh, and then Rue's apparently, like I said, or I thought anyway, that Rue's actually been stalking other tributes to see what they're doing. She knows where the career tributes are, which is actually kind of cool. She actually had the guts to go spy on them despite maybe being traps. Um, and, the, you know... The, and then in the in the very end of chapter fifteen, it says, uh, "Oh yeah, they're not hungry." Rue says, and then Katniss is like, "I think we're gonna have to fix that, Rue." Bam! That is just awesome. Ah, goosebumps. Okay, seriously, I would I would point at them, but they're in a questionable area. So, um, <laughs> uh, yes, if you like this uh, review and analysis, you know, you can leave a comment telling me, you know. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I live off of comments. You gotta understand. It makes me know. You know that I'm alive. I'm just kidding, but um, I can't wait to read chapter sixteen. I have not read anything further, and I, I'm looking at the page, and I keep look at reading words, and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, gosh. All right, so I'm gonna make a couple uh, predictions here. I think that Katniss and Rue are gonna be a really cool team, and I would love to see Peta join in. Maybe Peta could be between the sleeping bag. We could have Katniss, Rue, and Peta all cuddling. Oh my god, no, I'm, I'm gonna stop now. All right, have a good one.